Hello, first graders. How are you all doing today? Mrs. Clara is here again to make learning fun for everyone. Today is another exciting day to learn something new in numeracy. Our last topic was grouping and sharing. And I'm sure by now you can put objects and people into groups. Keep up the good work. Today's topic is 3D shapes. 3D shapes are called three-dimensional shapes. They are called three-dimensional shapes because they have three dimensions. The length, width, and height. Now, uh, 2D shapes are two-dimensional shapes. Two-dimensional shapes because they have two dimensions, width and length. Now, the 2D shapes are the shapes that we are familiar, already familiar with. For example, we have circle, square, rectangle, we have triangle, we have hexagon, we have pentagon, and so on. Now, the 3D shape are cylinder, cube, cubed. We'll learn more about the 3D shape. What's the difference between a 2D shape and a 3D shape? A 2D shape, like I said before, are two-dimensional shapes. A shape, yes. They have a length, there's a length, and a height. Height. Why the 3D shapes are three-dimensional shapes, which they have three dimensions. The length, the width, and the height. As you can see, in the picture 2d shapes are flat shapes why 3d shapes are not flat but they are fat and they are called solid shapes 2d shapes are called plain shapes now examples of 3d shapes some examples of 3d shapes we have the sphere the sphere is an example of a football a football is as a sphere shape we have a cone an example of a cone is a castle roof an ice cream cone cone we have a cubed an example of a cubed is a train a train is an example of a cubed a cylinder got a cylinder an example of a cylinder is a soda pop just like your can drink then we have the cube examples of cube is a ice cube ice cube even them the dice is an example of a cube Then we have the pyramid and so on. Now let us look at some characteristics of 3D shape. These shapes are solid shape, like I said before. 3D shapes are solid shape. They have three dimensions: height, width, and length. You can see the height of this keyboard, the width, and the length. They are real live objects. 3D shapes are real live objects. Like I give an example of a sphere. A sphere is an example of a football. A football has, is a shape of a sphere. Then the ice cream cone, the traffic, just like the ice cream cone that would take and all that. Now our 3D shapes are fat. They are not flat. A cone is like a party hat. As you can see, a cone is like a party hat. A sphere is like a bouncing ball. Look at the ball, like a football. A prison is like a building, a tall building. Look at the building, tall building. That's how a prison looks like. A cylinder is like a soda pop like this 
A cube is like a dice. You drop as a dice. 3D shapes are here and there. 3D shapes are everywhere. I'm sure we now know the difference between 3D shapes and 2D shapes. 2D shapes are flat shapes. They are two-dimensional shapes. Why 3D shapes are fat shapes? They are not flat and they are called three-dimensional shapes. Now let's try to identify these 3D shapes. What shape is this? Can you tell me what shape this is? And this one. Okay, let's find out. The first shape is a cube, while the second shape is a cuboid. Very good. Remember to do my assignments. It's fun learning 3D shape and to know that they are real life objects. Mrs. Clara will be here again next week for another exciting topic in numeracy. Thank you. Goodbye.